वेलकम टू डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स एंड टेलीकम्युनिकेशन एट विद्यालंकर इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी इन दिस डिपार्टमेंट वी हैव टेकन दिस न्यू इनिशिएटिव टू स्टार्ट अवर ओन यूट्यूब चैनल इन दिस यूट्यूब चैनल वी आर गोइंग टू अपलोड ऑल अवर एक्सपेरिमेंट्स वीडियो वैल्यू एडेड कोर्स वीडियो और एनी अदर इम्पॉर्टेंट वीडियोज दिस मटीरियल विल बी अवेलेबल टू ऑल द स्टूडेंट्स इन मुंबई यूनिवर्सिटी एंड दिस मटीरियल विल हेल्प स्टूडेंट्स Uh, to enhance their learning not just in their classroom but even outside the classroom i hope that everyone will uh, like this our effort and in case of any query comments anything they can put it in the comment box thank you hello guys welcome to analog electronics one lab today we are going to discuss the input output characteristic of a bjp so this is the circuit this is the bjp its emitter base and collector are here uh, the input voltage is given through vbb this voltmeter gives us the input voltage this micrometer gives us the input current whereas this millimeter gives us the output current and this voltmeter gives us the output voltage we have two resistors collector resistor is of 1k and the base resistor is of 390k that's it for the circuit now let us implement our circuit Now the circuit is implemented on breadboard. Uh, the emitter is here, and the base is here, and the collector is here. As we know, we have given two power supplies. This one is VCC, and this one is VBE. Uh, the 390k base resistor is here, and the collector resistor is here, which is of 1k value. Uh, As we know, we require two milliamet, one milliameter and one micrometer. This micrometer gives us the input current, whereas this milliameter gives us the output current. So now we are going to check the current and we'll observe what happens in the input-output characteristic. So, uh, the VCC is already set at 10 volts and VBB is set at 0 volt. So now, in order to see the input-output characteristics, we are going to increase VBB. So we are slightly increasing VBB. as you can see we are getting the deviation after 0.5 volts and hence after that if we increase the voltage we are get, we are getting an increased input current which is ib so that was all for the input current now we are going to discuss about the output current for the output current firstly we'll make vcc zero and we'll set vd vbb such a way that we are getting 10 microamps so it is set at almost 10 microamps now we are going to increase vcc to see our output ic so now we are going to increase vcc to see the output current ic on this milliameter so now we are slowly increasing so we can see since we are slowly increasing there is a gradual increase in the milliameter the amps are increasing now, after 5.5 even though i am increasing the voltage the current remains constant that means ic is constant now in this experiment we observed that uh, the current ib uh, remains zero but it increases gradually after certain voltage and the current ic firstly it increases gradually then it becomes constant so that's it for the input output transfer function of bjt thanks for watching